temporarily, which is something that I'm realizing doesn't, my internet is really wonderful until I start using OBS. And I'm curious if I'm getting some sort of throttling or limiting based on, because of Comcast, because of my uploads, but I don't think that's the case. Anyway, um, sorry about that. What I'm doing is specializing university place to give huge tax breaks to everyone who's here. Like the Pearl residence. That's cool. And I'm losing all sorts of money. And I'm not sure why I'm losing all sorts of money. But we're back. Stream is back up. Everyone's happy. No one's having problems. Again, very sorry about the stream going down. It seems to be happening on the hour. I mean, last time it was after 20 minutes and then 60 minutes, but like this time it seemed to be on the hour it went down, which is so weird. I really don't understand it. Oh well. I've, I'll probably cut together all of the parts for YouTube, which includes this part. I'll cut this part in, because why not? Everyone likes to see the behind the scenes stuff, especially for like the unedited streams. YouTube guys will have fun, guys and gals. Shouldn't assume that only dudes are watching this. Um, all right, let's start with our four wide. What's the fire department? Is that also four wide? Police, I'm gonna put the medical center here and the police will go right next to it when I have the money. I'm going to increase speed and let it just let the money flow in. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at this. Look at all the lights on, all the happy neon. Look at all these abandoned houses. Riverview, I think, just needs parks. Oh, yeah, they don't have any parks at all. Build them just like a small park in here. The cemetery across from the cemetery. How's that? Boom. That should help land values a little bit. Then we have a really cute cemetery park thing going on. Yeah, space engineers behind the scene. That would have been cool. Like, I didn't stream it because other people are streaming and recording it. So my space engineer's contribution is purely as a contributor, not as a uh, product creator, which is a really weird term. Not as someone creating videos, you know, making yeah, making videos. Um, so unfortunately, no one, none of my stream viewers got to see the kind of fun behind the scenes stuff. But that all is up on EC Gadgets YouTube channel, and I encourage people to check out our uh, our Space Engineers series. It's gonna be going for a while. We're just getting started, and it's really fun. We're having a really good time. It's awesome. Really enjoying it. And Vectrix and um, Vectrix and Captain Carta are wonderful people to join with, along with EC Gadget. So it's good. It's really fun to work with them. Easy people to work with. All right, let's get some money so we can build some police station and then build a fire station after that. Need about 24K for this. Look at this. New piece of land available for purchase. We will do that once we have built these places and then figure out where we want to expand. Probably expand out this way so like Mole Ridge and downtown can expand along the water. I think those are the best opportunities for rapid growth. This looks so weird. I think what I want to do is, can I build on water? Oh, of course not. I'll wait till the rain dies down. But I want to like line th these areas with low density because it looks kind of weird with the high density just sitting out there on the edge. So we'll give it, we'll just fast forward a bit, give it some time. 
Wait for the water to pass. I guess we'll just have to wait out the wait out the storm. Could do with actual halls of rev uh, residence, yes. Um, so MSJN for the things it it actually was surprisingly easy for things to go wrong. Like we we had a lot of fun with it. I think the four of us are the type of group that do really well when things are going incorrectly and go wrong. We definitely thrived in that, which I think may be surprising. Certainly was surprising for me to see that, you know, good energy come out of it, but I had a lot of fun with that, even when things were going, you know, about as wrongly as they could. So it was good. I, yeah. Not enough money. That's why I'm playing fast forwarded, so I can get enough money. I have 660 bucks. Oh, I did something wrong here. One second. There we go. That's correct. Alright, now that we've slowed it down, I'm gonna build... I'm gonna put in little, like, pockets of low residential, just to sort of... make this seem a little more... I don't know, realistic, I guess? I like the way it looks better. When there are low residential pockets around the... high residential pockets. Let's say around the high residential areas. I have plans for this. There we go. Make sure we're all watered up. Add a little extra support here, and then boom. We all revel in failure. Yeah, um, failure is something that I'm not... I'm not frightened of, you know? I'm not against it. Still need a police station. I think failure is something that should be embraced and not... You shouldn't run from it. Never see the point of like hiding from failure. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> failure binge. Keep killing each other, what are you guys killing each other in? I think I want to run a little, like, alleyway through there. Let's see if I can put the police department. No, space already occupied. Actually, I actually have an idea. I'm going to have this be a one way through and then run the police department sort of over there when I have 12 grand. <laughs> you and Pix are just good at killing each other, is that what you're saying? Alright, what we're gonna do with this is have a little, like, let's. Not that one. We're gonna put a path. Have a little bicycle path that runs. I actually can't fit it through there. Oh well. We'll just leave it like this. I wonder if I can fit. Parking lot. No, I did this sort of. I, I want to redo this. You. Not enough. Oh, I need 2,400 to move you. I'm going to move him to there. And then I'm going to build a parking lot there. There we go. If I can upgrade this road. I like that. I like that a lot. Perfect. I've got this little, like, I don't know, not administrative center, but that's where the police, fire department, and medical center are. 
Yeah, this is starting to look like a good university district. I'm really happy with how this is coming out. Though tons of people... Oh, because there's no parking on these streets. Oh, I should do a giant parking... I have an, another idea. You know how universities often have huge parking lots. Here we go. Looks like I have just solved my problem. I'm gonna run this. Nope, nope, stop it, stop it. There it is. I'm gonna go straight, please. It's the opposite of what I wanted. I want it in the. Got it. because I can and then add a little trees in here here we go we are doing everything right now let's kill each other in GTA what kind of tree do I want I want like I want bamboo I just want trees Do you think I want to build like a whole parking area? Like that's not enough parking. What if? I have it. I have the plan. Perfect. This should just be the right size to do this. Boom. University parking. Oh, I really like that. It's actually perfect. It's the most convoluted way to get anywhere, but it's gonna give us all sorts of parking options. Boom. Look at that. Now you can actually park. Just where to go? You know, here I keep cl clicking the wrong thing. It's all right. We've got a plan foreman, and now we're all set to go. All right, so we have now a huge parking area. It's a nice little alleyway people can park on. Phillip Street and Ashton Street, University Loop. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the University District. Which I think so far has been our best accomplishment of the stream. It's been a pretty big one, too. 24,000, we can put a faculty in over here. I think one at the end of the road is good. Once I got 24K, give a couple, get some more money. The University of Kevin. Oh, I'm going to call it. The University of Kevin. Here we go. Call it Kevin State. A pretty good name. I don't like that everyone's parking on University Way. I may make this a no parking. I also don't want people to live here. I've changed my mind about that. And here. Don't want you living on the inside. Especially when we could be using that for parking.
much all living on the far side of the power lines. Perfect. I can put our faculty in and people can learn more and everyone will be just happy. Not enough park can cover the first uni you went to. Well, there's enough parking to cover Kevin or the university thereof. Parking. Nope, there will be no parking on a university way. I am a harsh parking master. You can park over here, that's fine. Just not up to here. And that'll fill the car parks. Fantastic. These people don't get to park. They just get to be mad. And sad. What I should do is build a biking lane. Alright, um... I think it may be time. What's your problem? Not enough fuel. Why? Do you have like fuel trucks coming to fill you up or something? I'm very confused as to why there's not enough fuel for these guys. Where's the fuel truck to fill them with coal? Why is everyone having trouble with the whole merging thing? Just... Maybe I should build a merge lane. Oh well. Let's look at new land. Um, extend downtown. Or extend hemlock. I am going to extend downtown area for a very good reason. You are about to see an expansion. Um, are there any ore deposits to build on? Let's find out. That's not what I want. Natural resources. Ore. There is ore right here. So I guess I could build ore mines in here, but it's so close to everything. Oh, I could build ore up here. I just really don't want to. I think... Could specialize the university for nightlife as well. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Um, I know I'm going back a bit on chat. I got all distracted. Let's do it. Let's specialize university for nightlife. Um, IT cluster, no. Not self-sufficient. Um, leisure specialization? That's the one. I kind of don't like the shape of it. I want to like shape it better. I want it to be less of an amorphous blob and more of something kind of normal looking. There we go. I'm surprised at how well traffic is running in Kevin. Like this is going really smooth right now. Although why everyone's taking Bedford. I don't like that they're taking Bedford to get downtown instead of taking the main roads. Maybe we should make that residential traffic only. Oh, I don't know. It'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Amorphous blob. Did you get a degree in English at the University of Kevin? Probably. I don't think Kevin's got a great English department, to be honest. Oh, downtown is really starting to look good. This is pretty. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. This is looking fantastic. Maybe failure would need some tall buildings in the water. Or you know what? No. I think it's fine. Oh, that's right. These. Why do these houses keep... No, get out of here. Don't build houses like that. I have a plan. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to build... A little dirt road that comes through here. Let's see if I can. I could probably road anarchy this a bit, but. Hey, we've suddenly become a small city. We build monorails, 
train stations, yoga garden, hydro plant. There's so many things to build. So little time. So dirt this all up. And then, oh, what that did was it zoned all of this together so we can just bloop, make that one big zone. So when I demolish all those buildings, they'll build bigger and deeper and more fun. Perfect. I love it. Um, now what I'm looking for is if there's a theme park in here. Sparkly Unicorn Rainbow Park. <gasps> yes. We need 500k. Sinks, cigarette garden, services office, science center. No, it doesn't look like we have, unfortunately, anything good. Urban Commando, hola. Hey, it's good to see you. Um, Kevin is being pampered. Kevin's doing real well right now. And one thing that Kevin's about to get is not a lungs of the city. Hopefully a yoga park. What I would like to do is build a Space Needle downtown. Like that's, that would be so cool. But I need a lot of money. Um, Complex, Traffic Park, Columbia Tower would be cool too if I had a million bucks. Where'd the yoga park go? I, I don't have the care to look for it. Build some nice buildings. Um, no, oh, we're literally out of fuel. There should be culture. Oh, hey, I found the commute. You guys should not be taking this road. Here's the problem. These people are taking these roads to go. I don't know why they're going in some weird loops like that. Oh, I do know why. Oh, it's fine. I've solved my traffic problem. If you can also go through, then that should sit, solve my entire traffic issue. Lane 2 needs to be able to go through, so it's not just a turn lane. I fixed it. No one panic, I fixed it. First comes Space Needle, then Monorail. Yeah, I... I could totally do a Space Needle and a Monorail. But I think I just fixed my traffic problem. So, let me explain the absolute shit show that just happened. So these people were turning right into the middle lane, and the middle lane could only go right, so they didn't have an opportunity to cut off here. So to get down this road, to get down Glade Plugin, they were going down here, all the way down to here, taking a left, going down here, all the way to here, back up to this road, and out here, and then turning right on Great Glade Plugin, which is completely cocked up traffic in the entirety of my city. But now everything's perfect. It'll slowly sort itself out. Look at that. And hopefully people will be able to make it to where they need to go. Because right now, this morning commute is absolutely excessive. Perfect. And everyone wants to go into the left lane. And what I can do here is make this lane also go through. It should fix a lot of my problems. I think this should work. Also, there's just so many people commuting in in the morning that traffic is going to be a nightmare, regardless of what I do. Let's actually take a look at our traffic and see where I found the problems. This is terrifying. Why are you all doing this? I don't understand why so many people are 
Yeah, they're coming in this way. Oof. This is rough. You're now a light. I know it's not a great solution, but it's better than what we currently have. Why do any of you want to go left? I don't understand this. Why don't you just take the roundabout? Oh, I get it now. This is gonna be... I, I got it, it's fine. I figured it out. I am feeling really smart right now. I'm feeling super smart. I need to figure out how to make this a wider road. I'm just going to make it a 2x2. Two that's what we're gonna do. Just upgrade this whole thing to a two by two. And then you can also go there. How's that? And you go into that lane, and you go into that lane, and now we have even better traffic, hopefully. Cannibal Evans Street. This will also become a light. Can you do timed lights? Oh, this is crazy. Nope, we're just gonna do manual traffic lights or automatic traffic lights. All right, we are working. We're doing this. Is I don't want to delete that. I'll let those sit around. It's interesting to see what kind of traffic problems we have. Um, I'm going to, in the spirit of trying to ease people's lives, make that a through both ways. And hopefully these people will just cut straight across then and not drive through these neighborhoods. Making really weird decisions about trying to go up this road. I don't understand why they're going up specific roads too. This will also be a light. I think making that a light will simplify and ease traffic a bit. Because then people won't be waiting. It'll be a little more even turning. And we are out of power. You guys not producing? I don't think I'm just legitimately out of power. Whoops. Alright. Is it damn time? <laughs> it's about damn time, huh? No one? I know mass transit, I know mass transit would be great. 16 megawatts, that's not a lot. Why would it only be 16 megawatts? What if I put it in, say, here? 32, I need a narrower, sharper part of the river. Zero. All right, that's not the solution. Solar updraft tower. What the hell? So the warmth generated by sunlight is what powers this power plant. Warm air goes up, turning the blades of fans that produce electricity. Large batteries out to store and not be affected by day and night. 240 megawatts and 2240 a week. I would double our power output. Or, expensive too. Let me just build another geothermal plant. Oh, I see. It's because our coal plants. Why are Yes, they should be able to reach it via an outside connection. Why aren't fuel trucks getting here? Oil products? We're not importing 
coal products at all. Heavy traffic ban, but that shouldn't be affecting. No. Whew. Why do you have a heavy traffic ban? Did I do like a global heavy traffic ban? Because that would be dumb. Looks like I might. Oh, I feel like an idiot now. Okay. Okay, I need to figure out how to do global policies. Because somewhere I got a glow or heavy traffic ban in my global policies. There should be no global policies. Oh god, I feel like an idiot. Um, I yeah, starting in our industry wouldn't have helped. Now they know what the problem was. So now everyone knows. Don't set heavy traffic bans. And that's a global policy because it'll prevent trucks from getting there. This is why I don't want there to be a through lane. The through lane here prevents the people from turning on out of here and closet clogs up traffic. Here's what I'm going to do: is I'm just going to remove the yield and just let madness incur and see what happens. This doesn't seem to be any better. No, it's not better. It just makes traffic worse. You guys yield. Oh no, I've created a monster. <laughs> uh, this is this is this entire stream is just gonna be about like watching my failures happen. Um Someone moved. And no one uses the inside lane. So what we're gonna do is turn this, we're just gonna redo this whole roundabout real quick. All right, go despawn all the cars. And then Do that, and you guys know where to go. There we go, we'll just redo the whole thing while everyone watches my wonderful failures. This is a classic roundabout. You gotta be aware of people coming. I really don't think the outside lane should be able to turn in, but this is the way it'll be. And my hope is traffic will run smoother because of that. I'll wait till the next rush hour and then be able to take a look at what's going on. Um, I know I can go to train station. I'm aware that I can do all this cool stuff. You're back to prison light. Cool. It's absolutely fine. Everything. We'll be fine in time. Right, fa failure is an inevitability, especially with this lack of planning. I don't know why these guys are all choosing to go through here instead of on the roundabout. Don't understand that thought process. It's, it's fine. Anyway. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is 
solve this problem a little bit by extending this road out. This road's gonna go this way. And then we're just gonna build a wonderful intersection. So here will be something fantastic, a little two-way road. We're gonna have this pretty much just do that and then eventually do that and then we're gonna parallel it. here and then parallel and then just connect these up nice and easy do I want just like a normal overpass I kind of want like a I know what I want I want something like, like this. Perfect. I'm gonna do a little loopy loop thing. It'll look kind of odd, but it'll make sense when it's all done. Kind of a long lead in, but I'll, I'll live with it. We'll make it happen. Go up there and then have a lead out. And then I'll just redo this side real quick. I'm not forcing anyone into the smog area now. It's, it's a system that works. Hundred percent confident. I know what I'm doing. Uh, let me make sure I'm not forcing them to the smog area. Oh, I am. I made a mistake. I meant there to be through lines. Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. I was too engrossed in being wrong and terrible. Solve my traffic problem, though. Oh, I don't like that people are crossing each other. Uh, no, that actually looks, that actually works pretty well. I think if I make the right side a turn only, that fixes all of these problems. So when you come in, you should have a choice to go to either side. And then if you just want to turn, yeah, this is actually much, much better. I said counter there. Sorry I wasn't paying attention. Um, Smogwood Hills. Smog. Elzar is here. Hey, Elzar. Welcome to the party stream. Hope you're having a good time. So when you enter the roundabout, you can enter into either lane, depending on where you want to go. And you should be able to exit to any side from the left lane. Yeah, that's perfect. So if you only want to go one, you center into the right, otherwise you have to go into the middle. Perfect. I think I've solved my issue. I still don't understand why these people are coming in this way and then going this way. Why? There shouldn't be anything preventing these people from just driving normally. I should probably fill in the smog pit. Blame Canada. I... Is the only viable route from the triangle? But you shouldn't... They shouldn't be exiting... Here, here's my question. I don't understand. If you're coming in from here, 
and you want to go here, why don't they just follow the roundabout around? Because if you exit the left lane, you go straight, straight, boom, turn, like that guy did. Unless it's because you're, see you're coming from here, you should be able to go to either lane. See, boom, boom. Oh, it's just a normal hot dog van. None of these heavy trucks should be forced to go down here. You're going over there, that's fine. Returning to facility. You're going, see, I don't understand this. Why didn't this guy just go around the roundabout? The driving AIs, I swear, sometimes it's super dumb. Like that garbage truck did it. Anyway. They shouldn't be turning from the inside lane of the roundabout turn right. That, that is, they shouldn't be. But that's the only way to get it to work because they can't change lanes and roundabouts. I can make it a one lane roundabout. And you just always go. But with this two lane roundabout, it means it's basically an interior slip lane. And then the exterior lane will get you any other way. But there is, so if you're coming onto the roundabout, you do have to yield to all oncoming traffic. But it should, in theory, work. And it's not, and it's confusing, and I hate it. But such is life. Is working. Hey, university district looks great. It actually looks like a university district with basically parking lots. Okay, um, we have work to do. I don't know exactly what work we have to do right now, but we do have work to do. My current project is to finish this bad boy. It actually looks pretty good. I need to figure out how to get... Oh, you know what? I just realized I don't need this slip lane because it's a one-way. It's actually unnecessary, but I do need... I need something like this. God, that's ugly. That looks terrifying. That looks slightly better. I'm just gonna reverse it. Oh, I see, I see what I did wrong. It's cool, I'll fix it. I do wish you could like, play in more of a like, first person-y mode. That would be pretty cool. I do have like a first person camera mod installed, but it's not quite the same. I think that everyone gets sawn to each side. This is really ugly. This is just awful, honestly. Slope too steep. Oh god. You know what? I'm starting over. I'm starting from scratch. I don't like any of what just happened there.
doing something different. Boom. I'm just gonna have this eventually. Go straight into there. I don't like that, but I'll leave it for now. I want this to be a two-lane one, a two-lane two-way highway is what I want. I think what I might do is actually Pretty awful. This will make sense in a second. I'm using that just as a guide road. Slope too steep. Well, shit. How do I get the slope not to be too steep? It's fine, I'll figure it out. A little bit of a wishbone thing going on. Something, oh, landfill is full. That's probably not a good sign. Oh, we can still process more garbage. Should we put an incineration plant in somewhere? Maybe another recycling plant? Let's just throw an incineration plant in the smoggy pollution pit. That'll help. How about there? It's a good place for it. Dwarf Fortress is super fun. Um, I know I'm just catching up on chat. I really enjoy Dwarf Fortress. It's a great game. I was thinking about streaming it, adding it to the stream repertoire. I don't know exactly when I would stream it, but I think it's the kind of game that is it's super fun. It's it seems intimidating, but once you get the you know, once you get a grip of it, it's actually really straightforward and really easy to play. That is ugly, but I'll leave it because I can't be bothered. Or, no, I can't be bothered. I am bothered. But yeah, Dwarf Fortress is super fun. This road is ugly. Ugly, I tells ya. Boom, there we go, now I can get in and out of town this way. And what has to be one of the ugliest roads I've ever built. Why don't I just build a national highway? Why do I have to make this so terrifyingly ugly? Oh my god.
three lane highway, four lane highway, two way highway, five lane. It's all very simil similar. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't like what I'm doing. I'm very upset with this whole how this whole thing has turned out. Why don't I just you know what? Why don't I just redo this whole thing again for the seventh time? Three three way highway. <laughs> What I'm going to do is take the road that I've been building and just ex just extend it. How's that? And then change the slope here. I want it to be like sort of a long gradual There we go. That's perfect. Then just run this to be a simple road. I'll make this part right here a national highway or do a slope too steep for a national highway. Nope. Boom. Done. I've changed my mind. I want the, <laughs> I want the road again. Let me stop changing my mind. How's that? And now for my favorite part, you go there, you go there. You can go right lane straight or there. You can go left lane or left lane. Look at that. And you are fine. Does it need to be a light? I don't think so. But I'm gonna leave it as one for now. What I will do is add a stop sign there. You put a stop sign there. Boom. Voila, second entrance to the city. People will drive a long way to get into town. That should help traffic just a bit you hear a creaky chair is it might it's probably my creaky chair look at this I have a little bit of residential demand I could extend downtown a bit I might or I might just leave it be what are we at all right, we're going for an hour and 30. I'm gonna go for at least another half hour, maybe longer. Um, I wanna see what else we can do. We have so much money. What could we, we spend money on just ridiculous things. An electric car factory. We're not really at the high-tech office section. Oh, offices. That's something we should be investing in. Just realized we should invest in offices and maybe we should chuck some downtown. Yep, we're gonna build a little new downtown area. So, let's find this road. Let's bring it along. What should we do? There. And then build a road down. Do a little like curvy, th 